we won't get to that place until we have been uh, refined to handle whatever the, whatever the calling is in that place. God works best in the dark. What am I talking about? In dark times is when God does His best work. And I think that's what's happening right now in Richard and Leslie Scrucci's life. God is doing a work in their lives which we will see someday really come to pass. If this conviction were to stand, then politically appointed prosecutors at every level of the system, from the county level up to the federal level, would have at their discretion an elastic indictment that they could manipulate around any opponent at any given time. And our system was simply not designed for the justice system to be used as a political tool. And that is exactly what will happen if this is not overturned. I find um, the verdict in this case hugely sad uh, for both the judicial system and the political system for this reason. I think that there is a world of extraordinarily talented people out there who that when they see the way that this prosecution uh, has gone will refrain from any political activity, that is from engaging in the political process. Because you literally take your life and your family's happiness uh, into your hands when you engage in politics. Something went wrong somewhere because this isn't supposed to happen. And all we can do is, is pray and trust that the, the truth will win out and that our, our system of justice will make this wrong right. You know, Richard's a fighter. He's gonna fight for what's right. And he's going to uh, work through the legal process with his attorneys, understanding what opportunities are there and what routes they need to take. And I think uh, he's going to continue to do what he does every day. He works on his ministry. Uh, he continues to go out and, and, and minister the word. And he continues to do that every day. I think when Richard Scrucci goes on television across the nation, he'll have a story to tell that will reach into people's lives and change lives. I think that's what's coming out of this trial in Montgomery. That I've been there, I've done that, and now let me show you what God did for me and my family. I think that's going to be the key. And if He can do it for Richard Scrishy, He can do it for everyone else. God is a liver, and I think through this situation, Richard and Leslie Scrishy will come to realize even more in their lives how God is really, really, really working in their lives. So right now, as I'm going through this difficult time, these trials, as I walk with Jesus, as I walk the path that God has called me to walk, and I got to walk right through the valley of the shadow of death. See, that's what David was telling us. He says, walk through it. Don't stay there. He says, I'm not going to die here. I'm going to walk right through it, and we got to walk through it. And I don't know what your problem is, but you got to walk through it, see. That's what we got to do. You know, Oral Roberts' son wrote a book recently. He said, when you're going through hell, don't stop. He said, we can't stop. So, you know, I got to walk through this fire. I got to walk through this, this, this valley of the death. I got to walk through these difficult times, and you have to do it. We all have to do it, you know, and God is going to get us all through it. And you've got to keep on walking. We've got to keep walking. And we're going to walk through this together. Thank you.